Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about using electric tackers or staple guns uh, when upholstering cut pile uh, residential carpets. A few important uh, notes before we get started. One, whenever you use an electric tacker, uh, regardless of the brand, make sure that you're always using eye protection. Um, also, the cords that come on these staple guns should be plugged in directly to a GFCI and into a plug without an extension cord. Um, if you are going to use an extension cord, uh, read the instruction manual that came with your, your tacker um, to make sure that you're using the proper gauge cord for that tool uh, so you don't do damage to your tacker. I'm going to be using a stair tread today to make this video. Uh, this is not an instructional video on how to install carpet on a stair but rather best practices when using an electric tacker of how to place staples into the backing of carpet without trapping the nap. When you find yourself in a position with the material you're working with that you need to um, roll over or turn the carpet and you can, cannot use Z-Bar uh, and it's going to require a staple gun or a tacker to be used, a uh, couple things you want to do. One, make sure that you've got your carpet rolled over square. Um, and two, you're gonna to wanna to separate the nap to put the staples in. I'm gonna show you the difference. So in this example here, I'm simply just gonna I'm just gonna staple it down. Okay, while well, it's gonna hold it securely, you got dimples in the carpet. You can see where every single staple has been put in. The proper way to put these staples in to cause the least, about, the least amount of visibility as possible is going to be to take the nap and separate it, okay, exposing the backing of the carpet. You're then going to insert a staple into the backing. You're going to do this as you move along, moving the nap out of the way so that you do not trap it underneath one of your staples. By using this method, you're not going to end up with the dimple marks. You're also not going to end up with a puffy edge. By separating the nap and putting the staples directly into the backing, you end up with a look nice and clean no staple marks. As you can see we did it to about here. From here over is where we just simply stapled right through uh, the top not taking care to separate uh, the nap. Um, front edge as you can see um, up to there is just stapling through the top and then this this end over here was with uh, spreading the nap. So a recap when using an electric tacker, make sure you're using your safety glasses, uh, plugging in the tacker directly to a GFCI, or use an, a manufacturer's uh, recommended cord. Always separate the nap, place the staples directly into the backing to eliminate the nap from being trapped underneath the staple, uh, leaving that unacceptable look. Um, both these sides were finished with the same staple gun, uh, just a different method. So it's the little things that can make a difference. <laughs> 